We've known her as the mother of a local murder victim. Lucy McBath's teenage son, Jordan Davis, was killed almost seven years ago on Jacksonville Southside outside a gate gas station after a dispute over loud music. Today, as a newly elected U.S. representative for Georgia, McBath filed gun control legislation. And Joy is here now. Joy, McBath says she's willing to work across the aisle to get her new bill passed. Yes, Mary, Lucy McBath is a Democrat now in the U.S. House of Representatives and has co-sponsored her first legislation, teaming up with nine other lawmakers that would require universal background checks on all firearm sales. The bill says to make sure people who are not allowed to own guns can't buy one. You remember, it was just a couple days before Thanksgiving of 2012 when her son, Jordan Davis, was shot and killed as he sat in an SUV in a Bay Meadows gas station parking lot here in Jacksonville. Michael Dunn was the man who pulled up next to Davis and complained about that loud music coming from the car before opening fire after an argument. Dunn was convicted and sentenced to life in prison. McBath spoke on CNN today saying she plans on speaking with Republican members of Congress about bipartisan support for her bill. I have not yet had the ability to speak with many individuals on the other side of the aisle about, you know, common sense gun solutions because we have been dealing with the shutdown. But mm -hmm. I do intend to reach across the aisle. That is how work gets done. Now, McBath may have a battle on her hands. Newly elected Republican Governor Brian Kemp, he supports a state bill that would enact constitutional carry that would end the need for a permit to carry a gun in Georgia. Rob, Mary? 